Poreda. Have you noticed how some people are always searching for the knowledge of the most ridiculous of things? Some people want to know how many gallons of paint, for example, it takes to paint the fourth bridge, while others want to know how many bolts are used to hold the seven bridge together. This kind of knowledge really doesn't make any difference to life. However, there are some things that we need to know. And I'd like to share with you this morning some of the things that you need to know that can help change your perspective of life. Turn with me this morning to the book of Isaiah chapter 40. Let me read to you verses 28 through to 31. It reads like this. Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Let me share with you this morning some things that you need to know. First of all, Isaiah reminds us, do you not know that God is eternal? Do you not know? Have you not heard? He says, the Lord is the everlasting God. In these days when nothing seems certain anymore. Listen, God was, God is, and God always will be because he is the Lord God eternal. And then he says, do you not know that God is the creator of the universe? Do you not know, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? And as Christians, sometimes we are scorned by the media, written about disparagingly in the press, made fun of by comedians, hated in some quarters while persecuted at others. But listen, our God is the creator of the ends of the earth. So walk to and then thirdly, he says, do you not know that God abounds in energy? Listen, do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. You see, the best of men lose energy and need a break. The fitness of men will fail, will fall rather, if they fail to rest. But did you know that God never tires, never rests, never sleeps, never needs a holiday? He abounds with energy. He will not grow tired or weary. And then he says, do you not know that God is unsearchable? Do you not know? Have you not heard? He says, his understanding no one can fathom. You see, man will never fully understand God and he will never exhaust his knowledge of God. We can spend a whole lifetime reading all the theological books in the world's libraries and still not know all that there is to know about God. It was David in that great Psalm 145 and verse 3 that says, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. This is our God. These are things it's good for us to know. And then he says, do you not know that God gives strength to the weary? Do you not know, he says, have you not heard? He gives strength to the weary, increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Have you ever felt spiritually exhausted? 
Have you ever felt as if you've had enough and can't take any more? With this pandemic, we can all identify with enough is enough. Listen, he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. What a God we have. Things you need to know and how can I respond, respond other than with the words of the song then sings my soul, my saviour God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Let's pray. Father, we thank you this morning that we come before a great and an awesome God, the creator of the ends of the earth, the eternal God, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. A God who never tires, a God who is there for us 24-7. And we just thank you and we just pray that you'll bless us as we begin another week. Give us the strength that is necessary. Protect us and comfort us, guard us and guide us, I pray, in the sweet name of Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. God bless you.